All right, so this is welcome to another Patreon request, and this one comes from Gordon Rajani, who asked me since tis the season and all that. Um, he asked me to do a my favorite, not like a top ten list, but talk about some of my favorite Christmas specials. Um, so yeah, as always, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Head on over to my Patreon, where you guys can hit the third tier, and that'll allow you to start a sending me requests for videos to do here on YouTube. But if you want to just check out videos over on Patreon, just hit page um, either the second or first tier. There you go. Anyway, so let's get started by talking about some of my favorite uh, Christmas specials. Now, I know a lot of people like the Rankin Bass ones, and I think there is some merit to them, but honestly, I've just been kind of like, eh. Over the years, I've kind of like the Rankin Bass specials. While I do think they have like a lot of heart to them, those can we all admit that the ring that Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer one was everyone's just an asshole to to Rudolph for no reason. Even Santa, like when he's first born, he's like, like when Rudolph is first born, he's like, "Your son's a freak, uh, Blitzen." I think it's Blitzen who's the father. I don't fucking care. Um, he's like, "Your son's a freak." I don't think th that'll look bad in your standings. Yeah. And Santa's also like he's depressed. He's just a grump all the time. Um, elves are very conformist. Yeah, I've kind of grown out of it. But then, like even as a kid, I was like, man, why is everyone such a dick to Rudolph? He's just got a red nose. And then they suddenly co like come crying to him when like the it, it they it's for their own benefit. And I'm like, if I could write Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer today, I would be like Rudolph would be like, no. You guys are dicks to me. Go find, you know, go install some headlights or some shit. I'm out. Um, then we have, um, if I was to say, like, another favorite. I actually like Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Probably because I just like saying, De Burgermeister. Um, just randomly. <laughs> like, it just, it, like, whenever I'm, because it's such a, like, fun thing to say, De Burgermeister. <laughs> um, so I, I don't know. I like that. That one's cool. I think that'd probably be one of my favorites. I would also say, if I was to pick another Rankin Bass one, Little Drummer Boy is depressing as all hell. No. Oh, the Year Without Santa Claus. That's also great, but only because of Heat Miser and Snow Miser. That's a, it's a great song, but that special. I watched the Heat Miser and Snow Miser special. Man, it was awful. It was like a like a watered down robot chicken sketch. And it looks like the clay, the stop motion was straight out of Robot Chicken. It looks like it. Just like you'll be watching the the Heat Miser Snow Miser special, and you'll just be like sitting there, like, are they gonna make a dick joke sometime? I don't know. Um, now let's go into some other favorite Christmas specials of mine. Things I always like. I have to watch um, during the Christmas season. Obviously, Charlie Brown Christmas. That's kind of a needed one. I think that's that's a state. If you don't say, "Hey, I'm gonna watch Charlie," I don't want to watch Charlie Brown Christmas for the Christmas season. I don't know what the fuck to tell you, my dude. Um, but the one that always has to be there, always has to be seen and watched, no matter what, is the original Boris Karloff "How the Chris uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas." We can all agree that that needs to be watched once. I myself have watched it seven times in the past 30 days. Don't fucking judge me. Uh, yeah, so that's just a classic right there. Yeah, um, I also, Jim Carrey's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, because of so how unhinged it is. Um, I, it's just, it's so bizarre, and I even loved it as a kid. I understand it's not a good movie. It's n in no way a good movie, but it has such a charm to it, but only like when Jim Carrey's on. So, like, you know, just some scenes that now resonate with me is, like, <laughs> 3 o'clock, uh, <three> <laughs> wallow in self-pity, <laughs> 3.30, stare into the abyss, 4 o'clock, jazzercise, 4.30, uh, <laughs> solve world hunger, tell no one. <laughs> so, uh, 6 o'clock, dinner with myself, I can't cancel again. Seven o'clock, wallow, you know, wrestle with my self-loathing. I'm booked. Of course, if I move the self-loathing to nine, I can still be in bed by ten and slip, look at the ceiling and slip slowly into madness. But what would I wear? <laughs> uh, sorry. I, I know I probably botched the whole thing. It's. I know I probably botched the whole line, and for that I apologize. But it's it. it I that's always that always makes me laugh. Um. 
And of course, Nightmare Before Christmas. That's kind of another staple. I only watch. I know people say like I watch Nightmare Before Christmas all year round, and I'm like, no, you're a, no. That's not how this works. You can only watch it from Halloween season to like from from October first to December twenty fifth. That is your time frame to watch Nightmare Before Christmas. It, it it means nothing if you watch it before any time beforehand. If you watch it any other time, any other time between uh, that isn't between the time of October first or um, December twenty fifth between in that window, then no, you don't. You know, you you know that's not that doesn't that doesn't work. That's not how this works. It's not how any of this works. Some other unconventional ones that I do enjoy for Christmas. If you want to talk about some some unorthodox Christmas, Gremlins. That's another one that I only watch during Christmas time. Violent Night has now been added to the list. I think it's a great Christmas action movie, along with Die Hard. I don't care what anyone says. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, and then we have, you know some other some other christmas movies black christmas not the remake and not the 2015 remake that made no sense um i'm talking the original 1970s one with billy that's the one i have to watch krampus is another it's also adorable that my younger sister now really loves the krampus movie and there's a just a little um little tangent real quick um there was uh, like not too long ago a few weeks ago she was like begging my parent like my family to like can we watch krampus now can we watch krampus and i'm like oh you sweet summer child i'm so proud of you getting into horror it's so it's so nice to see the youth of the nation get into horror early it's so nice and it's a and honestly it's a movie i would enter it's definitely like a entry level horror krampus could definitely work as an entry level horror movie um yeah same with gremlins for others, I would say other Christmas movies I rather enjoy. Oh, the the goat. This is the this is the one I always have to watch no matter what. Muppet Christmas Carol. I know there are hundreds, if not thousands, of Christmas Carol um, knockoffs and whatnot. But to me, Muppet Christmas Carol does it the best. I, uh, Michael Caine's best performance is Ebenezer Scrooge. Um, the puppetry is great. They actually take stuff right out of the book, and also it's kind of creepy at points. <laughs> um, yeah, it was also kind of a big point because this was right shortly. This movie came out right after, like right off the heels of um, the the sad passing of uh, of uh, the creator of the of the Muppets, Jim Henson. So Brian Henson, his son, and the, the other groups and everyone else behind him had to like. Pull, you know, sally forth with this. But yeah. So they, also, just a little shout out to Olive the Other Reindeer. If you guys remember that animated special that came on, it was like a 40 minute special about a dog named Olive who went to be the, another reindeer for Santa. It was weird, and I thought in my brain I made it up in my... It's one of those... You ever have one of those where you're like, you thought it, like something existed, and then you find it again? It's like, oh, I thought in my, my brain made that up in my head. That was Olive for me. Or one of those. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what are your, some, of your, some of your Christmas specials that you have to watch this season? Just comment below, let me know. Once again, I'd like to thank Garrett Gordon Rajani for this Patreon request, as well as continued patronage. Um, yeah, just comment below. And once again, if you guys would like to have a Patreon request done, just hit the link below. Other than that, hope you all enjoyed this. I'm Mr. Multiverse. I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.